and welcome back to another Rising Legends recap, where Spatialopolis stays up to date. My name is Megs and we have a lot to cover from this weekend, so let's jump right in. The first Golden Spatula Cup of Monsters Attack came with big changes. Top performing heroes from all across EMEA's TFT regional competitions were invited based on their local tournament performance, increasing the region's diversity from the get-go. Of course, a substantial amount of players came from the ranked ladders and the famous open qualifier. In this open qualifier, however, we saw incredibly stacked competition leading to unexpected knockouts from accomplished players, a trend that should continue in the next week of the tournament. Day one of the Golden Spatula Cup already showed the true power of a sea patch as a certain kitty cat rolled back onto the battlefield anything seemed possible. The variants of rerolls on Draven, Senna, Leblanc, Vayne and even Sivir showed up for the fight. Velvet stepped forward as the uncrowned queen of the tournament showing that she will reign no matter what board and emblem you pair her with. Additionally, SureShot, Recon and LaserCorp performed well and were played quite a lot. At the end of day one, player numbers were cut in half, so only 64 moved on to day two. Day two started off lightly, but quickly turned into a legendary cookout supreme. Ketzer showed up with a really crazy Piva board in game number three after finding the Orca 2 upgrade with a SureShot emblem in the carousel, and Lyris and Lumarpin fought a battle with a Viego 3 on one side and the shiniest of Ergot 3s on the other side, showing us the true power of legendaries. But for a second, it felt like fortune favor had spilled onto to the tournament realm. But where there is light, there must be darkness. Only half of the players could move on to day 3. These 32 players came into the final day to fight for honor, pride, money, a golden ticket and of course golden spatula points in pursuit of the Rising Legends regional finals. They all showed incredible performances. Her fuzzled broke the UK curse that was laid on them several times. Germany, France and Poland fought head to head. Hayden made a comeback and Turkey showed once more how quickly they are catching up. One other region made a run for everything. Saru and Ark from Greece had massive support rallying up behind them in the Twitch chat and what seemed like a self-fulfilling prophecy came true. Saru had played under the name Saru wins for this tournament and that he did. Having not scored a single first place in day two, he came back with double the force on day three, with an overall very great performance allowing him to place third in the final game of the day with a very fun Draven comp and be super safe for first place. That is everything for now, stay safe Spatulopolis and tune in again after Golden Spatula Cup number two for a next Rising Legends recap.